right guys uh welcome to auto flow uh university uh i'm gonna do a quick video here on first solar those of you who were here for sunday night uh remember they are uh having earnings this week and uh, today we actually got a pretty good um pullback uh, i'm gonna go into uh, that in a minute but remember uh friday after the close thursday excuse me thursday after the close first solar is going to be reporting earnings so there is a play that we're gonna do here in the room uh, i already and already a ccs this morning uh, so i'm gonna go over that trade uh, in a little bit now let's go here quickly to what the chart looks like and uh, those of you who've been following along since last friday uh, take a look at this parabolic i mean this is just a parabolic knee, uh, move since last uh, july right even before before the market was bottoming uh, last year back in october the stock was already running from the 80 dollars and now it's almost at a 220 dollar move now we said it last night those of you who were here in the room uh, to pay attention to what the market was going to do right on this area right it's going to be pretty tight it's going to be very interesting that after once earnings come around on friday the expected move is about a 14 bucks market makers are looking for a 14 dollars up or down after earnings so the play that we were putting on this morning and the one that we're going to be adding to tomorrow is to establish ourselves a very nice based on the rules that we have here in the room uh, a very nice iron condor with it and i'm selling today today at the open we start selling ccs this morning cd downgraded to sell right there was a downgrade today uh, it took a couple of stocks down but i mean the, the the thing that i wanted to see was a drop below the 200 we talked about it uh sunday uh, night where will the stock go if it indeed you know breaks below this uh, 200 level so pay attention to this i mean 200 the line in the sand for a uh, first solar coming in tomorrow morning what was interesting though is that we closed today below the 210 i mean uh, it was a nice buying uh, you can see already in the candle this is in uh, what we call probably uh, an absorption right they were absorbing everything a nice buying uh, tail that we, we call it as well and they were buying those stocks right on the 200 to a three through fours or fives buying 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 at the end of the day i think uh, we went back to close to the two tens so again we will see if this is going to continue until friday i mean can can they reclaim the top of the range back to the 218s or because the ccs that i put on this morning the call credit spread that we put on i put it on a 225 to 30 for this friday going into earnings expecting a follow through below the 200 okay below the 200 the problem is now it's going back up again so i have to be careful because if indeed uh, it's still you know four days to go three days to go until thursday can they pump the stock and you know position the stock on the 220s uh, in that case you know i have to be careful because the stock can run 15 dollars to the 235 uh, so that's my own risk i mean i'm trying to play it uh, as much and now the next play is tomorrow morning to establish an iron condor now those of you who are new to trading come check out the room where you're gonna learn this uh stuff that i teach and uh we are positioning ourselves on the 250 255 and at the bottom on the 160s now i am using the 160 even the 180 as a support and the reason i'm using that is the chart has this very nice cluster and you can see it here this very nice cluster of uh price auction and the price auction that we saw back in january right here on the 173s 173s it created this support right here on the 160s very nice earnings came in and the stock rallied again okay and it has this nice flag now that it appears to be very defined with a nice support at the 200 but what happened if you break because everybody's looking after the sell the downgrade this morning to sell the stock to short the stock well you can go all the way to the 180s i mean if you follow the pattern here right of pure technical analysis if you were to break this support we are going to go and tag that trend line above the 180s potentially 173 so my goal is to collect all the premium by selling the call spreads and not only that start to sell the puts at the bottom right some naked puts 
maybe the 160 for May, the 150 for May are paying really good. Let me take you to the setup that I'm planning to do tomorrow morning. This is for uh, my own risk on uh, first solar. And this is going to be for the month. I mean, we have reports this week, right? We know that we have reports this week, but this is going to be for next week, right? I want to put it on because I don't have time to defend it if I were to put an iron condor. But let me give you the difference. If you were to make an iron condor here, let's say um, you, you want to be safe, you know, at least one standard deviations or two, oops, excuse me, two standard deviations above it. Uh, let's go here to the iron condor. And the stock currently is at 210, so you want to have at least a 15 points move that's gonna take you to the 230s. So you can do a 230, 235. And look at what happened with the 235, uh, 230 call. Okay, 230, 235. And on the downside, you wanna be somewhere on the 160s, you know, potentially, right? Right here, uh, 160, and you let's do a 170 here, okay? And you can collect 66, about $600, right? $660 on this trade tomorrow morning, right? As long as the stock, right, goes sideways after earnings, right? You are safe all the way to that support area that I talked about, right? You are a little bit safe. You have a good room here, right? All the way to the, to, to the 170. And you can collect 60 cents, about one and a half uh, standard deviation, even though... Uh, from 210 that the stock is at, the stock needs to drop about $40, right? Almost two, 14, yeah, about 28, yeah. About two, two or three times more than what the expected move will be, okay, from the stock. So I'm looking forward uh, tomorrow morning. This is one of the trades, and I have another one that I'm planning to do as well. Maybe do a little closer, sell the CCS first tomorrow. So if you want to do your iron condor one piece at a time, Let's wait for the stock. I'm going to save this and let me tell you how you're going to play it. Let's go and tomorrow, if the stock pops right on the two tens, you can sell the 230 and 235 first, right? You want to sell the 230, 235, and you're going to sell this credit spread tomorrow morning, right? And you can go ahead and collect 25 cents for it. Uh, the 230, 235, excuse me, about 52 cents, right? You can collect $520 selling the CCS first. If the stock goes to 215 tomorrow morning, right, with the way, you know, earnings are coming up, if it goes to 215 tomorrow, maybe this 230, 235, you can collect about 60 to 70 cents, sell the CCS first, and wait for Wednesday, right, one day before earnings, see if the stock can pull back again back to the 200. And once it's sitting at the 200, now you can start selling the 170. And at that time, maybe you're going to collect some more money. So the 170, uh, 160, okay, 10 point spread on that one, you can collect an additional probably 25 cents on it, okay? So this is the way to play, especially going into earnings. With That's the way I'm going to play it with First Solar. And you can establish other uh, potential, if you have the stock already, like we do on a couple of shares on a couple of lots, I think on one, you can go ahead and sell the 250 or the 230 call for August uh, and see if you get called out. But for an earnings play, I think the best way to play it is with an iron condor, sell the CCS first, wait till Wednesday, and probably Wednesday, go ahead and sell uh, the PCS, the put credit spread at the bottom. Uh, the stock on its own starting to look pretty, I mean, it's a, it's a good run that the stock had uh, over the past, you know, nine months. So, you know, people are going to be ringing the register on this one. If you go to the weekly, which is what we always do here, I mean, look at this parabolic new, uh, uh, move, right? You have to go all the way to 2009, guys, right? This is the last time First Solar was around those price back in 2009, okay, right on that 210 level. If we fail here, right, if this stock fails, like I said uh, on Sunday night, then, I mean, we're going to have a pretty decent move here just to short probably the stock because if the stock breaks uh, the trend line that you see right here, if we start to break this trend line, this baby can rock and roll and start to move towards the 120 level again. This is a very nice area of support after that huge breakout. And this was a nice uh, bottom that it put on back in 2021, uh, the stock itself. So again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying. This is my take on FSLR. Come check us out in the room. Uh, again, carlosmolina.io or just go to autoflowuniversity.com. 
Don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so. I'll be seeing you guys in the trading room. God bless.